It was an exciting moment for Wolverhampton and for Debenhams. The grand opening of an innovative new store designed to make people shop and stay longer. But just 18 months later, Debenhams itself is going. Among shoppers this afternoon, all that optimism about the future of their high street went with it. There's not many big shops here. That was something new. Everybody liked it. If you look around Wolverhampton, it's getting a lot of empty shops and it's a shame. I think it's awful because it's only just opened, hasn't it? But opening too many new stores was part of Debenham's problem, amassing huge debts when shopping habits were changing. This month, its lenders took control and in all, 50 stores will shut. So, look, we're trying to build a sustainable, successful future for Debenhams. And what's really critical in doing that is to address the, the number of stores that we have and try and protect more than 100 viable stores going forward and 20,000 people in the workforce. But that is little comfort to places like Wolverhampton, whose other large department store also faces an uncertain future. For businesses that rely on passing trade, like Tony's Deli, which he opened just last summer, every closure removes potential customers. Is there a small part of you that regrets choosing this location? Uh, yes, I guess so. Um, as I was opening up uh, this place, uh, the House of Fraser thing happened. Now we've got Debenhams closing, so it's, it's going to make things that little tougher. It's, it's, as, it, as I say, it just chisels away at uh, the reasons to come into town. Here, the former BHS is only now being replaced after nearly three years. It's becoming harder to find new retailers to replace those that disappear. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Wolverhampton.